Welcome to the Blytheway Morning Show on Core London TV. I'm Bonnie Hughes, Business Development Manager for Royal Hasconing DHB in the Morning Group. Today I'm joined by Patrick Cullen. He is the CEO of Connemara Mining. Thank you for joining us, Patrick. And today there has been some very interesting, much awaited assay results on the Gold River Mine. Yes, uh, good morning, uh, Bonnie. It's great to see you again. Um, yeah, we're very excited. We've had our results in, as promised. Um, we got that drilling done just before Christmas, uh, got the assays into the lab and come back very good. We've had some excellent results from one of the, one of the drill holes, uh, Tom Breen uh, in Wicklow, Wexford. 16.1 um, grams a tonne over two metres within a, an eight metre interval. Eight metre interval grading at 4.53 grams a tonne, which is you know, Yes, that's quite excellent. You can yeah. have a nice little mine with that. Yeah, we were, <laughs> yeah. well, we actually, um, you know, we've, we, there was there was some holes drilled there back in the 80s. Um, we're excited about that as well. We we're, we're actually some of the cores available, some of the historic cores available, and we're thinking about going back and resampling some of that because we weren't aware that the intervals could be you know grading so high over such a such a uh, you know a significant width. Um, in the past, there they drilled you know in the region of 20 grams a ton over half a meter and so wow. forth. So uh, so this is a big improvement on that and. Uh, it certainly suggests that we could we could relook at some of that old core as well as um, you know obviously plan for the next you know the next drilling there. Um, what's significant about uh, Tom Breen is that it's on that it's on this 15 kilometer trend that we have in Wicklow Wexford, um, but now it's giving us a bit more focus as to where we're going to really you know what we're going to look at most uh, you know as a as a priority. Um, to the south, uh, we drilled at Gibbet Hill. Now the Gibbet Hill results, there's certainly gold there, but we didn't hit any you know, Bonanza grades uh, uh, in, the, in the first two holes. It's the first two holes that's ever been drilled there. Right. We did do some more sampling in the area on surface, and we took about 30, 40 uh, grab samples from surface, and um, five of those came over at, uh, in, in excess of 0.5 grams a ton, in, you know, in surface samples, which is very exciting, and one of them was at five grams. So we're still not, you know, we're still looking at that, but between Gibbet Hill and... Um, Tom Breen, where we've had this, you know, this great success in that in that drill hole. There's another target knockalure. It's about three kilometers south of um, of, of Tom Tom Breen. And is there any drill holes and in there? And there's been yet? five. Yeah. So there's been five drill holes historically, and we know we're very sure that some of those holes, at least one of those holes, stopped in mineralization. We've talked about it before. So that's also going to be a, a significant focus. Um, and again, instead of looking at intervals there, again, 20 grams a ton, that sort of range over half a meter, meter, we'll be looking to, to see right. We'll make sure we sample the you know, decent uh, length of hole, make sure we get all of the, pick and, up all the grade in there. And I'm sure it's a lot more helpful to have some historical drill holes to give you some yeah. direction as opposed to drilling where there is no drill holes well, and trying you know, to figure it out. <laughs> that's the thing. I mean, the, the Wicklow-Wexford uh, project, the 15-kilometer trend is very, it's, it's, it, that's extensive. Now, that's a, that's a, a long, you know, it's a, a lot of ground to get into. So we want to be careful that we don't get too caught up in just one particular place. So we're going to balance that, drill where, we, where we're getting good results, but we're also going to look to extend to see, you know, if we're not missing something even better, you know. So, um, so yeah, it's shaping up to be, I mean, it's, it's a great start to the year, I've got to say. I mean, you know, so... Well, your share price has done very well and is reflecting it's already, it. It's moving this morning, yeah. And, and, uh, and I noticed you have some warrants outstanding at a higher at a yeah, price. So we're, we're have gonna, they been redeemed? That's right. So we've got warrants at 3.4 pence um, and we've got warrants at 5 pence. And uh, so, yeah, there's, there's a million pounds worth of warrants out at 5 pence and 400,000 at 3.4. So... Um, so that's significant, you know. That's significant cash if we can if we can capitalize on that. So uh, yeah, we're, and we think that the share price is going to run a bit now for, for sure. Um, you know, result at the end of the day, it's the, the lie detector. The, re the results tell you if there's gold in the ground there. But I think the important thing is, it's the interval, the width of the interval, the four and a half grams over eight meters, and that you know very significant two meters at uh, sixteen point one. So that's yeah. Well, and do you have more assay results to come? No, no, that's that's it now for uh, for the me for the meantime. Um, but like I mentioned, um, we've we've already started talking about right what we can do. Go look at those historic holes. You know, we just, we'll we'll see if there's an opportunity to do more sampling. That may not be available to us, but we'll see what we can do there. So we'll. 
we'll be we'll be talking about that in, in the weeks to come. So certainly. you're basically um, making a plan so that you can maximize your capital expenditure for the best return. Yeah, absolutely. So we didn't, um, you know, we wanted to drill a few more meters actually before Christmas, but you know, it didn't. Uh, we didn't get the, the meters that we we had hoped for, but we 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 certainly got the job done. I think, and that's important. Um, so we still have a little bit of cash that was assigned to that project. So we've got, you know, we can we can keep things moving there, and uh, yeah, and then we look uh, look to the future. We've got other things happening, so um, I don't want to really take the focus away from this goal result. But, right. But certainly uh, on the zinc side, you know that we're we're diversified, of course, uh, and zinc is. Is, is really starting to gain traction in Ireland now. There's been some, you know, uh, it was a great article in Mining Journal just yesterday, uh, sort of, um, in Connemara, uh, feature there quite significantly, um, looking at all the activity in the country, particularly with the zinc focus. Um, and we have our partners, Group 11, who've just listed just before Christmas, and we'll, we've been talking to them, and we'll be talking to them in weeks to come about, you know, what they plan to do with our zinc project at um, Stone Park in Limerick. That's the you know significant some really good zinc grades and it, next door to that Palace Green project, the Glencore project. So, and a, and a million dollars Canadian that they have earmarked for that project in the prospectus. So we'll see what's going to happen there and how soon. And then we also hope to get news from our other joint venture partner, Tech, who we've got a joint venture at Oldcastle, which is near the Navin, big producing mine, Europe's largest. Um, so that's the zinc. So we're going to have quite a bit of news coming in, I think, in the, in the, in the next uh, weeks to come, the next few months. Um, and we'll certainly keep our keep a Connemara, which are, all our goal is 100% Connemara. Right. So we'll, we'll, um, we'll continue to work on that and we'll have more to say. Well, I look forward to seeing more of that news flow and yeah. more information and what happens and how the project progresses because it's a very interesting project. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you again for joining us, Patrick, and I look forward to having you on the show again. And thank you, everyone, for joining us on the Blytheway Morning Show.